Yo, what up? Welcome back to Bipolar Disorder. My name is Adam. This is my beautiful wife, Katrina, and this is our reaction channel. And if you like it... Is that what you were doing? I don't know what I was doing. Oh. I was... Because you were just whistling that. I heard, I heard a beat. I heard that... What is that from? That? No, no, no. I don't know where it comes from. It's from an old show. Yeah. I, I can't remember what it is either. If you know what the, this Brady goes Bunch? to... No. Oh. Da 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 Anyways, all right. If you somehow get that, take your wild guess down in the comment section. That'd be great. That would be great. All right, so today or tonight, we're going to react to some more Family Guy. Family Guy Best Dark Humor Compilation 8. This better offend me or I'm going to be offended. Do a better job than Jimmy Carr. I can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was super loud. Well, let me say I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes watching soccer on an eight-inch black and white TV. <laughs> Peter, this is my friend Omar. He can teach you many things about our faith, including how to ululate. What's that? It's this. <laughs> Oh my god, that's terrifying. I don't know if I'm ready for that. No, Peter, it's okay. Just sing the beginning of La Bamba, but don't say the La Bamba part. Oh, okay. La, 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 la. Yes, good job. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, I'm, so I'm, I'm talking about my mood. You know, I actually feel really bad for him. Do you know he knew 19 guys who died on 9 11? I mean, what are the odds? Peter, I think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell. I'm going to call my mood right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Do you get that? He's friends with the terrorist. He knew 19 guys that died on 9-11. There were 19 uh, Oh, pilots. there were 19? I'm pretty sure. I forgot, but yeah. <laughs> he <had a> phone's <laughs> busted. <laughs> okay, you're good to go. I'll go sell him. Okay, you're good to go. Oh! I'm sorry, I'm messing up this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're good to go. We'll go celebrate at the clan. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think we could all use a drink. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Allahu Akbar! <laughs> Get home before Stewie gets hurt, like Fozzie Bear when he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's good to worship Allah, because I used to worship Summer. Waka waka. <laughs> I once knew a guy who was so Arab. How Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him, and there was nothing funny about him at all. But you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! <laughs> I'll be with Allah soon. What? Uh, yeah, he doesn't know what he's saying. He's delirious. Look, you better get moving. All right, Stewie, let's go get the sleigh ready. Is anyone else a little freaked out by that Allah thing? Never mind that. Let's just get going. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Joyce Kinney. Our top story, Quahog prepares to unveil a new statue commemorating perhaps its greatest hero ever. That's right, Tom. It was ten years ago that an almost inconceivable plot to destroy the World Trade Center was thwarted by Quahog's own Brian Griffin. This amateur video captured Griffin's heroism in the face of a shadowy terrorist organization called Holy <laughs> Look at all those vowels. al Qaeda. <laughs> Here, make sure you get all this. Time to terrorize the terrorists. Ugh, you prepared catchphrases for yourself? No, not necessarily. <laughs> Mohammed oughta stayed home. Nobody knows that guy's name yet. You're using information that nobody knows. <laughs> Houston, we have a solution. Houston's for space, not everyday air travel. Tell him to ground every plane out of the East Coast. Seacrest out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a hero. Coming up next in sports, Arizona Cardinal Pat Tillman, tackled by his own team. Oh, Brian, we're so proud of you. Yeah, buddy, great job stopping those terrorists. And thank God their follow-up attack on St. Louis was a bust. <laughs> we missed! <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, I kind of messed it up there in the uh, middle there. That's fine. That was a good joke, though, with the okay, skin. Okay, I don't know how old that is. 
<laughs> but there's a zero percent chance that they could do that today. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. Just like was, we talked about this the other day, how uh, Steve uh, Carell was talking about how they couldn't even make The Office today. Yeah. And that wasn't half as... Uh, controversial. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Con- controversial, that stuff. And that's so crazy that... See, look, it was, there was just jokes. No one got hurt. But if you said that today, they would, they, they would try to rip the show off the air. Oh, yeah. The mob, would, probably the is... mob would, would be all over them. Exactly. And maybe they were at the time. But you know what? That makes me respect Family Guy, not because I have anything against Muslims, not because I have, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be prejudiced. I appreciate Family Guy for being... Kind of pushing the envelope. To being people that don't have sand in their vaginas, who actually have the balls to write stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. And just do it because it's funny and deal with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. We're going to get out of here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that uh, notification bell. And we will be back very soon. Take care. Bye.